Welcome back to LA Fish Guys Aquarium Tech Talk. Uh, we're doing the Apex setup at Jim's house. We're in the home stretch. Uh, so far, we have unpacked our Apex. We've mounted all the equipment up. We have connected the Apex to the network. We've connected it to Fusion. Um, we have set up Jim's ATO and plugged in the versatile Blake breakout box along with all the flow switches to run that. Um, next step is to start plugging things into our EBA power bar. I've already determined what plugs are going to go where, um, which will simplify things when we get into programming. So first step is to start disconnecting things from this power bar um, and start plugging things in. We, in our last episode, I actually plugged in the ATO pump, but as I said, we have our EB8 there. Um, in the last episode, I touched briefly on solenoid outlets versus the, um, or excuse me, relay outlets versus the triac outlets. And again, on the EB8 power bar, there's two relay outlets. Relay outlets are typically used for a very heavy load device or most often for very low load devices, things like ATO pumps, um, small pumps that is, dosing pumps in particular, uh, solenoids, uh, little teeny LEDs that might be used on a hog algae scrubber in this case, things that you know dry, I think it's under five watts or something like that. If you put, plug them into a triac outlet, one of the six triac outlets, things won't turn on and off properly. So there's two outlets that are designated as relay outlets on the, ABA, on the EBA, and that's outlets four and eight. Those are the two very end outlets here, are four and eight. Um, we already have our ATO pump from Spectrapure is plugged into outlet four. This is outlet eight there, which is a relay outlet. And in that outlet, we're gonna plug into this hog algae scrubber now. That is plugged in over here through these little ballasts. We're gonna grab this little ballast here. Take the second one, unplug it. And since I've got two of these things, I've got a little splitter plug that we're gonna utilize. And since these are in the front for easy access, there's no real nice way to hide these wires. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extend these way down here, get these wires kind of out of the way, hide these ballasts as good as we can. And then we're going to plug them into a little splitter so that we can have both of these scrubber lights on one outlet. So I got this little outlet thing here, this little splitter. We're going to plug those into our relay outlet up here, which is outlet number eight. There we go. Our little hog is in there, and we'll the hog is plugged in, and we'll program those a little bit later. Next up is our return pump, and our return pump is going on outlet number one. And let's see which one of those is our return. This will be our return here. Should have shut the tank off. It should be draining. Right. Yep. It's not flowing right now. Plug that in. That should turn right back on. Yep. Turn back on. And this is our protein skimmer line. That's going in outlet number two. All right. Set for outlet two. All right. What does that leave us? We have our protein skimmer. The only other thing left is our JBO pumps. Those, I'm just gonna plug those into this wall outlet here so we get rid of that little power bar. Ultimately, our JBOs will be on the Apex 0 to 10 volt controller. So, we really don't need to take up an EB8 outlet. Just get that thing out of the way. Need a little Phillips head screwdriver. Our drill here. that power bar as we clear out space. Have you heard of this new aquarium superfood? It's true. Larry's Reef Services blends a premium human grade frozen food called LRS Reef Frenzy. And it's good enough to eat. LRS Reef Frenzy for reef tanks. LRS is the first food that contains lab verified probiotics. And LRS makes fish frenzy for small fish and nano reef tanks. LRS is supplemented with fatty acids and vitamin C. LRS also offers herbivore frenzy for tangs and other plant-eating fish. 
LRS is made with fresh Carolina seafood. And LRS makes a fish frenzy in a chunky version for big fish. LRS is crafted by hand, by hobbyists, for hobbyists, and made in the USA. LRS Frozen Foods. Good enough for the fish, good enough for me. For more information, visit ReefFrenzy.com. So, your cool nano reef tank is doing great, but you've got an algae problem? Consider the drop from Santa Monica filtration. Seven sizes to easily fit into the filter compartment of most nano tanks. And just like their bigger cousins, the Hawk and the Surf, all use air bubbles and LED light technology to grow algae. Algae that consumes nutrients and that algae replaces itself at no new cost to you. For more information on Santa Monica Filtration's drop, hog, and surf algae scrubbers, visit santa-monica.cc. One of the best things about going with an Apex is that you become one of the tens of thousands of other owners that love helping each other out. Maybe you get stuck or maybe you just want to simply take on a new DIY project. Whatever your question is, the Neptune Systems Community Forum brings all of those thousands of users together to help you answer it. Many of the things discussed in this video series are also covered there in various posts. Or add your own question and start the conversation. That's forums.neptunesystems.com. Okay, you're back on. Okay, so we have our hog algae scrubber LEDs. They are plugged in to outlet number four, a relay outlet, and we chose that outlet because these things draw very little power. We want to make sure they turn on and off properly. We have our ATO pump plugged into outlet eight. We have our return pump here. Our return pump here is plugged into outlet one, skimmer outlet two our ATO, outlet four, our hog algae scrubber is an outlet eight. The last thing to plug in is our LEDs. So, um, now the LEDs that Jim's using are these Reef Bright LEDs. And we'll talk about those in just a little bit. Um, but those are high output LED strips. They should provide plenty of lighting for his reef. Uh, they will also be plugged into the Apex zero to 10 Volt uh, control interface. It'll allow us to create a nice sunrise, sunset, and control the uh, the uh, intensity of the lights. And there's two different color lights there. There's a, two strips of blue and two strips of white lighting, and we'll be able to mix our color to achieve the color that Jim is after. So more on those in just a bit. So now, just to recap, we've got our Apex base unit right there. And everything is wired into it. We got our pH, we've got our temp, we've got our breakout box plugged into it. There's our little breakout box. We've got our EV8. We've got our pH probe and temp probe down in there. Our ATO line run. We've got our high and low level float switches. And of course, we have our ATO float switches there all easily adjustable through our fancy little magnet setup. Um, our protein skimmer here is now controlled by the Apex. 
when our water level gets too high or too low we'll be able to shut it off well actually too high we'll shut the skimmer off um, and it's uh, basically about it other than some wire cleanup we've got everything connected here next step will be to set up the uh, 0 to 10 volt control for the uh, Reef Bright XHO LEDs and again stay tuned for the next part where we connect our Reef Brights to our Apex system and uh, we'll keep moving forward. Stay tuned for the next part. Bye-bye.